Hey, welcome. And today we're going to get right into it. Today, this is, you're looking at a um, 026 TD Warren Webster trap. It is an uh, inch and a quarter. You usually can tell inch and a quarter because you, when you wrap your uh, thumb and uh, index finger around it, they slightly overlap. And we have a clean out plug here. It says uh, clean out cap. And then we have an outlet here and an outlet here. You can use either one, but this one, the outlet for the bottom was used. And so the outlet there is plugged. Uh, there's an inlet on this side and an inlet on the other side. So steam, uh, air, and water enter through here and go into here and go into the, uh, the float body. And uh, the air is should be ejected and the water allowed to drain off, but the steam trapped in the trap. So we've impacted their five bolts and uh, we impacted them out and as per usual, there's always one that shears off on these older, older units. Uh, if you ever have to take one of these things off, my recommendation would be to uh, use Dr. Heat. Uh, on any of them. You can see that it has been uh, leaking over the years. So this is the top portion of the show. There's your gasket. And this is um, the uh, thermostatic element. And there is the exit point there, which is actually at the top. And they uh, the older style, pre-World War II, uh, this vents out uh, with a half inch uh, outlet, which is then going uh, to the dry return and uh, exited through the vent uh, near the boiler. This has, uh, generally has a date code on it. Let's see if we can find it. Give me a second there. One moment, please. Um, I don't know if that is visible. Uh, 11, you might catch a glimpse of it, 11, 11, 2, 1931. So it's, it's old. Um, those two can be removed and this taken out, but then uh, there's nothing uh, to replace it. This is rebuildable here. You take the uh, seat out and um, run, it, run it in with a bushing and a uh, device then threads in there, either a Barnes and Jones, I'm not sure what number. Um, so what did we put in in its place? Another 026 trap. That's this one I got surplus brand new. Um, there is no vent top. This is a post uh, war unit post World War II and the uh, cage unit the 40 uh, 4278 works best in there the one that they have listed in their book uh, is not correct uh, I didn't feel it was good I, these bolts have been removed anti seized and, and put back and so there is a, a plug for the uh, uh, clean out there's your outlet and then there is the other outlet and so steam, water, and air arrive. Uh, the water trickles through. The air uh, is expelled through the thermostatic element and comes out here and then is sent. I have a small vent there. And then it's sent to the dry return, which goes to the boiler, which uh, there's a trap return, which is where the uh, vent point is for this. Uh, this was added much later, and this is uh, dripping. It's, this is a steam supply, and this is a um, return for a radiator, which was uh, probably added sometime later to the galvanized piping and so forth. So this was worked on. I use this to act as an anchor point to support the pipe. And this was replaced. And this is actually above the water line. It probably should be below the water line. It probably was, but it's above the water line. So there it is. I've got a, a support for the pipe there. 
Uh, so that's um, stone wall, and it can be somewhat difficult. I could probably build up something from the bottom, but the that is definitely not level there at all. So it makes it a little difficult. So we've got that one squared away. I believe we've tested it and it works. And so we've got the other one we're probably gonna do tomorrow. I just wanted to show you that um, what's inside of that. This is the cap or a sort of the whole, whole uh, that's not the cap that should go there. This is the original thermostatic element uh, from uh, that unit. Um, this is the cage unit that uh, they say should go in there. Uh, I can't even read it. That's a, a 3479, and it, it just too, this spring is not long enough. Uh, there is the seat, which is generally removed, requires, this particular one requires uh, seven eighths of socket, I believe. And this is the path that the air takes uh, out. Um, this is where a plug would go for the clean out. This is the float from the, looking at it from this side. This cross section you've probably, you've probably seen in uh, another video of mine. This is a trap that we're going to try to install tomorrow. This is the older style um, with the uh, plug. This has been rebuilt and I actually sent this off to um, Barnes and Jones some years ago and uh, they actually have a video of them testing this and then they painted it up and shipped it back to me. So this is, uh, this should be ready to go tomorrow. I want to see if I, uh, if I've got that um, uh, link to the video uh, below. So uh, that should do it. Oh, you might want to see the boiler. Yep, sitting in its pit there. Uh, it's an old Columbia um, put in wrong. Um, the header is not three inch. We can quibble about whether it's copper or steel, but regardless, the header is too small. That's, that's, that's in the instructions. Um, copper is also not, not advised. Got a good, uh, um, riser there. So that at least dries out some of the steam. But uh, we have some flooding issues that we have to deal with. Hopefully, by changing the trap at the other end, that'll that'll uh, uh, ameliorate that. Let's see. So uh, I think you can see through the glare. That's where the trap is. You can see the uh, return, and you can see where the water line is there. So let me get another. Sh let me get a shot. This is the uh, return trap. Trap being used in a generic sense. Basically a steam-powered pump. You have the two check valves there, which uh, if the water, if the pressure gets too high, it trips a switch inside, which then uh, allows steam to flow into this chamber and push down on the water and push it into the boiler, uh, slamming that check shut. So that is your main air vent. That is, in theory, uh, the only air vent that should be on the system. Uh, but yeah, you know, got to do what you got to do. Uh, that is a, a float, float trap. Yes. And I believe I have another video showing what's inside of there. Um, pretty low. Of course, that's why they put it in the pit. So we've got uh, a drain there and we got a lovely full port dr drain there, which we added earlier. And there's the, um, my wretched Unimatch. Um, and of course, we've got a vapor stat on there, keeping the pressure as low as possible. So uh, I think that uh, brings us to a close. Thank you very much for all of your uh, support, and I'll see you on the next one.